Chef Dario and Anita, passion is cooking. Cook together to stay together is what we say and what we do. And today we're making wonton tortelli. Tortelli. Tortelli with butternut squash and goat cheese. Okay, so we have a butternut squash here, cut in a half. We remove the seed, okay? And uh, I score it a little bit. You know why I score it? No, why? Because I want to make sure that the seasoning I'm going to put it on it is it's going to go right through everywhere. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do, I have uh, aluminum foil here and a tray over. So we're going to do just lightly season it with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then if you be so kind to just put one cube of butter just in the center. Thank you so much. Okay, so, so we got salt, pepper. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil too, just, just to moisturize and just help stay, um, the butter to melt. And what I would like to do is put one sprig of thyme. And we're just gonna keep it like that, okay? Just like that. This is dark maple syrup, okay? So I'm just gonna put half a teaspoon and just gonna sprinkle all around, just for a little bit of sweetness. Just like that. So what we're gonna do, we just, we just close it like a baked potato. Nothing really fancy about it. We're just gonna close it, just like that. You wanna do it for me, sweetie? Thank yeah. you. 375 degree oven, okay? It's preheated and we are going to bake it. So I'm gonna put it in the oven, just like that. Just like that. 375 degrees, approximately you would say 25 minutes to 30 minutes. We, we just want to fell. We want to make sure that it's nice and soft. And then we scrape the pulp from the, from the skin. Mm -hmm. Skin is called? Yeah. yeah. And what we obtain is this beautiful, silky paste. Mm. Isn't it beautiful? Look at that. That's good. Now, if it's too moist, if it's too moist, you can actually, if you want, you can make it the day before. You can hang it overnight on a cheesecloth so you have all the moisture go out. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you, please, sweat the ingredients, the, the, uh, the flavor ingredients, okay? So the ingredients we're gonna use today are uh, shallots, okay, thank you. We're gonna have half a clove of garlic, some walnut, which we're gonna toast lightly, and then we're gonna put, we're gonna put a little bit of thyme, some goat cheese, some parmigiano, and we're gonna mix everything in. So, the first thing you're gonna do is just get the shallots, and the garlic, okay? So what we're gonna do with the shallots, we're just gonna cut in in little, little, little dice. The shallots is gonna give us a little bit of, um, of the sweetness, and if I, really, if you want, you don't necessarily need to put shallots and garlic, but I want a bit of the pungency, because otherwise, our dish is fairly sweet. So with the garlic, what we're gonna do is this. Gentilmente. So I'm gonna quickly now, when you smash it, does it give more of the flavoring that comes out? Well, yeah, I don't, I, like you see, I, I really don't want to bruise the garlic too much. So when you smash it, yes, you, you release the essential oil and also helps um, breaking down the garlic. Okay, so we're gonna go on the stove. So we wanna make sure the shallots and the garlic are really slowly breaking down. So what Anita is doing right now, she's basically sweating. So. We're creating almost a foundation for our, our sauce. So what Anina is doing right now, see she had a little bit, uh, you know, the two cubes of butter. Why? Because, right, you want to make sure that you melt it slowly. In, in, in it, we we want to make it almost like a fondant, okay? We want to break it right down. Over here, why she's doing that, I got my butternut squashed and it's pureed already. I'm going to add to that my goat cheese. So I got some Woodwich goat cheese here and I'm breaking it down with my hands. You know, I'm not using a food processor. I'm not using anything. Breaking it with my hands, right? How is this, really? It's good. Um, I think I'm gonna be adding in the walnuts now. Okay. Do you think that that's good? Yeah, maybe one minute more. Okay. Yeah. So exactly, so that's, that's the same reason. We do not want to overcook the shallots. We don't wanna overcook that garlic. We wanna make sure that it stay nice and pungent, right? Exactly. So. We're almost there, was, I would say it's another 30 seconds away until, and then we will add um, the walnut and maybe a cube of butter, you're gonna add it, right? 
And so what's gonna happen? So the nuttiness of the, of the walnut will release into the, the shallots and the garlic with a little bit of butter. It almost makes a condiment, right? It makes a condiment for our beautiful sweetie, yeah? So here we go, you add in the butter, perfect. Great. And now we can add it, perfect. So now what we're gonna do See what I'm doing? I'm, I'm breaking down the goat cheese. I need to shut everything off. We want to make sure now, that makes sure that it cools down. You know, it cools down a little bit, and then we're gonna incorporate the things together. So I'm gonna be stirring this. Okay, so we got the goat cheese mixture, right? The butternut. Now, see, this is the mixture that I need to cook the onions. Smell that. Mm -hmm. Nice, huh? I nice could eat, I could eat that just like that. Oh, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna add our shallots, our walnuts, walnuts and the garlic. And l'aglio. Okay. Which means garlic, by the way. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, we can you maybe switch just quickly to the fork? And what we're gonna do, we're gonna break and we're gonna some of the garlic over there. Stick Thank you, sweetie. Yeah, perfect. So you want me to break up the. Just, so just, just like that. And then we're gonna add just the flour of the thyme, just like that. Oof. I would say put probably around the three sprigs of, of, of fresh thyme, yes? So I'm gonna put, I would say, three quarter of a tablespoon of Parmigiano. And again, all the recipes are at passionatecooking.com yeah. with the actual quantities. Exactly, thank you. So you're gonna mix that properly. Excellent. So, by adding the parmigiano right now, we're gonna have a little bit more of chicken. It's getting a little thicker, also. Mm -hmm. Right. Then we're gonna add cantucci, the biscotti. So what I'm going to do, sorry, sweetheart, I'm gonna add, and I'm gonna grate them right in it. But now we're gonna taste quickly for. Okay. We're so versatile with our bowls. Pronto. Mm. Isn't it nice? Mm -hmm. That's really good. Oh wow. Very Wait. good. A little bit of salt? Yeah, I was going to say that. But then I wasn't sure if the chef would agree. Oh, the chef agrees. And maybe, what do you think, sweetie? I think a, a little bit of pepper. Mm. Why am I saying about pepper? Because a little bit more of a spiciness, you know. Okay, perfect. Great. So what I'm going to do, just like that. Now, You're gonna make me work, aren't you? I'm gonna make you work. So now, <laughs> now oh, my hands are gonna get dirty. Now we're gonna get our <laughs> hands dirty. Yes, we're gonna make sure that everybody can actually see what we're doing, because Anita she's a specialist in this. Okay, nice sweetheart. Mamma mia. So look at this. So, like I said, simple square. Okay, we do one and one, and we want to move fairly quickly. We want to make sure we don't leave it too much out in the air. Because it will dry up. Correct, so we're gonna do two at a time here. I'm gonna do one and then you're gonna do one. Is that okay? Oh, so we're not adding it in and joining it together. Watch. We're doing a top we, and a bottom. We're gonna shoot, we're gonna give him. We're gonna show both way. Look at that. So just a little bit of the mixture right here. Look how beautiful color. Right, mm -hmm. isn't it beautiful? We're gonna have a little bit of water, just with our finger. Okay. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Okay. Tuck, tuck, tuck. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. And then we do this. And close it up. Close it like this. Just like that. And look. And we squeeze all the air out. Okay, belly. Beautiful. Sono belly? Yes. Yes. Who's belly? <laughs> You gonna do one? Sure. And I'm gonna show you guys a different one. I wanna put some more juice in it, can I? Juice? Oh. More of the filling. You are the boss. You have fun with it. So now I'm gonna show you a different shape we can do. Why don't we be versatile? So here we go. Oh, and, yeah. sorry. That's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh, put- Oh, I have to do tack, tack, tack. Tack, tack, tack. Don't forget the tack, tack, tack. Here we go. So look at this. 
we're gonna make a little cappelletto, a little hat. So I'm gonna do like this. Same idea, I'm gonna make sure the edges are covered. So then I'm gonna make a triangle. So I put too much in, it's leaking out. Ah, no. It's Look okay. at that, it's leaking out. Is That's that gonna okay. cause a problem? No. So you see what I'm doing? Look at me, see? If it leaks out, more for you to eat. I'm gonna make a hat. Watch, eh? Pinch and turn like that. Look at that. So we can make any shape that we want. So why don't we play with shapes a little bit? So we can be versatile on it. I'm gonna do like this, look. We're gonna do any shape we want. So we have two, then they're square, like this. We're gonna make another cappelletto, like this. And maybe, I don't know, I'll figure out what we're gonna get here. <laughs> okay, so you wanna do one? What am I doing with it? Making yeah. it into a hat? Let's make a little triangle. <clears throat> Beautiful. So I'm gonna make, just like that, watch. So I put a little bit of extra, less mixture this time, so it's a little bit nicer. Yes, look at you. She's a professional. So the thing is, at the end of it here, to, to make, so you got a triangle over here. Mm -hmm. So then you grab the two sides here, you make sure that you push them together and then you turn them upside down and you pinch it. Very and nice. that's what you have, right? So we're gonna do a different shape, different. We got two, we, oh wow, you made it nice. That's, <laughs> that's a different shape, I love it. This is like a little, Dumpling. <laughs> That's cool. What is the critical point here? Excellent. Exactly. So the critical point here, thank you, sweetie. So the critical point here is to make sure the filling stays inside. Yeah. I'm not, I'm What's going to happen with that? I'm not worried about that. Okay. I'm not worried about that. It, matter of fact, it's actually good that it's coming out because now I'm cleaning it. But the most important thing is that I'm closing all around the filling. So all the air escape. And we're, we're putting this in boiling water. So if it is leaking out and it's not closed properly, then it's going to explode and go all over, right? We're going to have fun. We're going to play it in different little shapes. So the, tor the tortelli, okay, will be this one, okay? Just like that. This one is the triangolini. Triangolini? Yeah. It has a name. The cappelletti, okay? And I don't know what mine's called. Anita Dutch one time. <laughs> How's that? You can tell I haven't done this before. I love it. How but it's you, fun. Actually, this is creative. How did you it's come gonna, up with it? Oh my gosh. This is called caramella. <laughs> and now we're going to cook him in boiling water. Okay? So if you can just bring him over there. You, we're going to wait until the water boils, right? We're going to add the salt when the water boils. So what kind of sauce we're gonna make for this one? A beautiful, simple salsa. Al burro. With butter? Al burro. Okay. So I'm gonna have just a little bit of butter. Am I putting this in now? We're gonna wait until it boils quickly. Boiling, you wanna make sure that it really boils. Sooner the water boils, vigorously. That was very well done. Vigorously, you add the salt. Why? Because that salt immediately will go all the way around the water, and it doesn't. It, it won't take that long. Okay? It will dissolve immediately. Okay? So this one is one minute away. So right now I'm gonna put a little bit of butter here. I need to have one of the ladle spoons to be able to put them yes. in. Yes. We have. A, we're gonna, I'm gonna grab. We're gonna grab a little spoon. I got the remaining of the walnut. Which I'm gonna crush, but I just, there is no fire on yet. So normally, remember I said we would do butter and sage, like they make in Parma. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when we went to Parma? Yeah. We went to all the festa, festa del tortello, and they make this beautiful tortelli that are better, butter and sage. Lots of butter, lots of sage, lots of butter. So here we're gonna do a little bit of butter. A little bit of the walnut, 
a little bit of the fresh thyme at the end of it. We're gonna grate it with the biscotti and we're gonna flavor. Prego. So it is boiling vigorously. Vigorously. Don't watch, 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 watch. The volcano <laughs> is erupting. So now we're gonna put the salt. Okay. More. 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 More? We're gonna put all the, oh, all at once. Beautiful. I, I have to scoop each one individually. They'll yeah. break, no? Yeah, no, they won't break. You're too good. Now, is it gonna go to the top like? Well, the, some they're gonna go, some they're gonna go, some they might not. But we wanna, we wanna taste it, right? We wanna taste the consistency. Beautiful, amazing. So I'm turning the the pan here with a little bit of the butter, all the oliva. Perfect. So here we got a little pan. We wanna make sure the butter is becoming noisette. What does that mean? Nutty. Oh. Okay. Like a nut. And which language is that? Italian. This will be French. French. Okay. So we want to make sure that it's nice and You're nutty. confusing the listeners. That's okay. You, you guys could... understand me? Yeah? <laughs> yes? Yeah. Well, if I can't understand you, how well, are you... they going to be able to? Perfect. Bravissima. So, so, it's done? so I'm going to come close to Anita right now. Anita is going to scoop the raviol. And don't be afraid if you put some water because actually it would be better if you put some water in it. Brava, brava, brava. Brava. Oh, yes. One more lone wolf here. Thank you, sweetheart. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. They all look different. Is it beautiful? It's a smorgasbord. But that's the fun thing about it, you know, you could get together as a family and you make your own creation and you look in there and you go, that one's mine. Perfect. Oh my God, look at this. It's great. You know? We create our own smorgasbord. Smorg smorg smorgasbord. Would you mind to pass me the little container underneath? I'm gonna grab not this one. Oh. I'm gonna come to the table, just like that. Look Turn this. this off. Thank you, sweetie. Beautiful. Teamwork. Look, teamwork. So now, smell. Mm, it smells very, very good. Walnut again. Sorry, the, the biscotti. And if you some bigger pieces, even better. Smell now. Can you smell the... Mm -hmm. Perfecto. Parmigiano. We're going to add a little bit more. It's the uh, Paderno dish here, is it? No, it's not. It's That's okay. Paderno. So watch this. I'm getting excited. He gets excited. He loves cooking. He loves food. It's so cute. <laughs> so here we go. Do you remember this one? It survived. The Dutch tortella is even the, is the best. The Dutch one survived. So. So we've got the the Dutch, Italian, Chinese. We got everything. This is quite a mismatch. Smorgasbord. We're gonna grab a little bit of water still. And look at this. To mix a bit with the sauce, right? Exactly. Isn't that beautiful? Watch the trick. Remember the maple syrup here? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put a little bit on the butter. We're gonna make like a maple butter just at the end of it. Oh, with the rest of the sauce. That's right. And we are going to now, does that explain that in the recipe? Of course it does. All of it's in there, eh? All of it. Passioniscooking.com. Passioniscooking.com. So I got a little bit of, of the herbs and I'm gonna quickly sprinkle around for presentation purposes. I'm getting water in my mouth. That looks so, so good. You think and so? it smells good too. That's the great thing about food. It opens up all your senses, right? You know, you you see it, you smell it, you taste it. It's just Well, I think it's I think that, that also this is I'm starting to drool. This one is also a dish, then it's extremely simple to to do it. Uh, it's not that complicated. Uh, we can we can do it with any type of pasta, with any type of filling. So what I do at the end of it, if you want, if you really are fanatic. Look at that. Canada is home with your maple syrup. 
tortelli. With wonton, butternut squash, and goat cheese. And so we've decided to pair with it for our juicing today, a ginger spice. Ginger spice. So the ginger will add to the flavor of the meal that we've created and it will add some more nutrients, of course. And that's why we juice as well as create the meal creations right. and our wine pairing as well to be able to have that full experience of cooking together in the kitchen, eating together in the kitchen, doing healthy things for your body, and, um, and all of that, so. Ginger spice. Ginger spice, here we go. So, um, if you can start by putting some of the dolomita water in for water me, please. Water from the dolomite. Wow, look at that, okay. And it tastes phenomenal. I've really noticed a big difference in water um, in trying different waters out there. And this one from the Dolomites has been just fabulous. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. Into the Vitamixer. Perfecto. And then if we can just put a little bit of the apple. So we're dealing with one apple. We've got some cucumber. Got the cucumber here that's going to go in. Uh, we've got frozen strawberries I decided to go with uh, for this recipe. If they're in season, it is always best to get the strawberries fresh, but I wanted to have a little bit of a coolness chill, chill to, the, to the recipe, so you can yes. put that in, my dear. Oh, it's like ice strawberry. Some of the kiwi, the to kiwi. give it a little bit more of that sweetness. Beautiful. And you know, you might have kiwi in season where you mm. live. I don't know, would that be Australia? Probably in Australia or New Zealand. Yeah, kiwi. Not, I think not. of that for kiwi, right? So, anyway, if we can get some of the lemon and all the recipes again are on passionascooking.com where you're going to have the full combinations and everything over there for our meals and our pairing. Mm. The spinach, my dear. So, not the full amount of spinach, probably around a cup. So, one cup. And there we go. And of course, for our ginger spice, we've got some ginger that we've cut up, thumb size Benicio. piece of that. Perfecto. A little bit of cayenne. Cayenne is very healthy for you. So, and this is going to give it a little bit of a kick. So if you can put so some cayenne, cayenne in there. So cayenne is just give you a little bit of a, of a, so the ginger and the cayenne together. Mm -hmm. give it's going to give you a little bit of the kick. So as far as the flavor goes, it's going to add a little bit of a spice. But as far as nutrition goes, I mean, I have lemon water and cayenne in Every the morning. morning. Yeah, yeah, in the morning. Yeah. So it's, it's very good for your system and everything that you, you do in your daily day to be able to boost your health. Boost your health, okay. And then I always talk about boosters and this is chia seeds. So for this one, I've decided to go with chia seeds. I love the flavoring of it. And of course, it's very, very healthy and it's another booster. Now, you, with chia seed, you actually mix it with water sometimes. I saw you making this paste. <laughs> uh, she's making this crazy stuff, sometimes, which is healthy and is important to know. Well, you can make pudding out of chia. There's that's so right. many things you can create with chia and that's something that we should get into also in, in some of our recipes. But there's so many ways of, of making healthy chia. Chia ice cream is actually very yes. good. Too. You know, yes. you can toast it, you can make the paste then you actually make uh, with coconut water actually, mm -hmm. and then you're making all of it yes please so I think we're gonna put all of the water now yeah I think so I think we're gonna need all the water in there and it's good to be able to to look at the actual ingredients in the recipe that we have online to, to really judge it and sometimes you might want to add some water take away depending on the thickness consistency I like a little bit thicker of a consistency you can also add coconut water to it. With this one, we've just done water. You can add almond milk, really any kind of creation you want, but this one I find is, is really, really yeah. good. Ready? Mm-hmm. Power. And the ammo. Powerful. Let's give it a try. Ooh. So again, we're doing the juicing because you know it's it's not everyone wants to drink wine, and it's a different alternative. We don't want to always buy store fruit juice or vegetable juice because there's a lot of sugar that's added. When you have your own creations that you make at home, you can do through a juicer. This is the blender way, so it's actually more like a blender juice and um, it adds more nutrients. I mean, my mom used to make this every night. We'd have to eat, have her juice right away before the vitamins all left, as she said it. Uh, but that was the way to get nutrients into us and our vitamins. And a lot of times we cook with it too. So right. some of the juices that we make, we, we actually cook with it. 
and it's it's been really good. You figure out if you can give this one to your kids in the morning before they go to before they go to school. Mm -hmm. Just as simple, just like that. Mm -hmm. You know, you organize yourself the night before. You make it for them. Imagine that. You try it, my dear. They're nice and great. It's like hook. <laughs> Good. Okay. Please try. Perfect. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what I, what I feel here. There is some. Mm. There is the sourness of, of of the apple, the spiciness of the cayenne and the ginger. That's very good. And really, and the earthiness because the word is earthiness mm -hmm. of the spinach and the cucumber and everything is just really refreshing. This is a very refreshing uh, drink. Mm -hmm. This is good for any time. And you've got all your fiber, all your vegetables in a drink. Yep. Something easy, you can take it with you yep. if you want to have something for lunch or throughout your day. It's refreshing because it has the, the frozen strawberries in it too, yep. which is really, really good. I am so excited to try the so tortelli. Tortel. I want to keep saying tortellini. But we've paired it here with our ginger spice and I'm excited to try it now. Just look at this, James. All this hard work. Ah. Beautiful little silky. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I gotta get ready for this one. Ready? Um, salam. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Can I? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna feed myself. No, you're not allowed to have any. What? It's too good. I like to use my hand. Oh my god. And now we gotta pair it with the juice. That is so I want to say something, but I can't on TV. Mm. That is so good. Oh, wow. Good? It pairs really, really well. Yes, it does. Oh. Okay. I'm rewind. afraid what he's going to no, no, say. No, 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 rewind. Also, we talk all the time about fatty and sweet with acidity. Do you remember what we said yeah, all the time? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> it's not necessarily fatty. Well, we have butter here. Well, we have goat cheese. We have the sweetness of the maple syrup. We have the sweetness of the butternut squash. The acidity and the sourness or, and spiciness of the ginger. And the cayenne, spectacular. This just couldn't be a better match. Well done. Well done. Another great creation. I'm going to keep eating. Passion is cooking. Cook together to stay together is what we say and what we do. Don't you feed that to me now? <laughs> Come on over and subscribe. We'd love for you to follow us. We really appreciate you're here. Come over and like us. Give us a thumbs up. Comments. We love to hear your comments. Anything that you want us to do. And, you know, maybe we can do some real pasta on top. Well, this is real pasta too, but you know what I mean. Making it from scratch. We've done our gnocchi. There's other stuff we can do. We'd love to hear your comments. Come over and join us on Facebook or Instagram. And again, all the recipes are at passionatescooking.com for all the details on our great creations. Thank you so much for joining us today, everyone. Chef Dario and India signing off. Ciao, Bye ciao. for now.